And next up we have the light heavyweight division. Cuarto combate de la noche. 81 kilograms. División 81 kilogramos. Árbitro René Jos de Eslovaquia. En la esquina de Azerbaiyán Bakufair. Taimur Mamadov. So, Taimur Mamadov, a 21-year-old representing Azerbaijan. And a decent record as well. He's won one, lost one um, in the World Series of Boxing. He's ranked number 11. Um, he got a silver medal in the World Championships uh, in 2011 and won a gold in the Continental Championships in the same year. Um, he's ranked number 11 with the World Series of Boxing, but his opponent is ranked at number one. And here is the opponent, Julio Cesar La Cruz. He's a 24-year-old, had two bouts, won the pair. Cuba, Julio Cesar La Cruz. So I do know, and I suspect you do as well, that uh, Julio Cesar La Cruz is very fond of his number one position with the World Series of Boxing. He wants to keep it. And nothing but an impressive win over Tamer Mamadov will do that. So they are two wins, rank number one. Cuarto combate de la noche, división 81 kilogramos. En la esquina de Azerbaiyán Bakufair, Teimur Mamado. En la esquina Mamadov. de Domadores de Cuba, Julio César La Cruz. And here is La Cruz. So the first of a five-round contest coming up. So Slovakian referee. Round one. So let's just have a look and see what a number one fighter is made of. And as you can see here, Mamadov is a southpaw who leads with his right. Now, will that cause problems for La Cruz or not? Well, so far, neither man really has managed to connect, have they? Well, a bit too much showboating for my liking from uh, Julio Cesar La Cruz. And he kind of walked straight into that, didn't he? And as far as the rankings are concerned, Mamadov is uh, ten places behind De La Cruz in this. So Julio sees De La Cruz in the white. Reluctant to take a forward step, looking to counterpunch when he can. Giving height and reach here. 
to uh, Tamer Mamadov. And there is no doubt that uh, La Cruz is very tricky. Well, he got pushed over there. Well, if I had to make a judgment in this opening round, I'd say a pretty unimpressive round from the Cuban. And uh, Mamadov just sticking to the basics, really. And there's the bell to Wendy. We'll have to wait and see what the judges thought of that. So a very tricky individual then in the shape of Julio Cesar La Cruz against Tamer Mamadov. Mamadov just 21 years of age. Three years younger than his 24-year-old opponent. Well, that was a half-decent right from Julio Cesar La Cruz. Well, <laughs> as I suspected, they've actually gone for Mamadov by uh, a majority verdict in round one. I did say it was um, mainly an unimpressive start from uh, La Cruz as we come out for the second. I suspect that uh, La Cruz's corner of said, listen, you can't stand back like this. Go looking for this man. And uh, La Cruz is essentially a very committed back foot fighter, I suspect. But of course, he could spring a surprise by going forward and landing a punch that makes the world of difference. Get if the Cubans don't win this, it's all in the last match, and they've got a first timer. The Cubans, and uh, coming into this particular tournament, I actually, uh, as I said earlier, I was going through everything um, and not discounting the fact that the Cubans are very, very good. Um, on paper, I had the Azerbaijan team winning 3 2, um, but as I say, the Cubans are so good in every department. Nothing would surprise me. But at the moment, well, who knows? Well, once again, a spectacularly unimpressive round from Julio Cesar La Cruz took a left hand there also from uh, Mamadov and once again Felix Savon the triple Olympic champion in the audience looking on intently shot there La Cruz but uh, took two or three back <laughs> and quite how um, Julio Cesar La Cruz got his number one ranking um, at the moment escapes me I'm afraid <laughs> So 
So there's the end of round two. Now, where on earth will the judges go there? Um, if I was one of them, I think I would probably go in favour of Mamadov again. Yes, I think uh, La Cruz flattered to receive in the second. Did get through with a couple of shots, but as you saw there, they were doubled up against him. Azerbaijan have got an awful lot to play for here. Well, that's interesting. Julio Cesar La Cruz was actually declared the winner of round two, making it dead level at 19 points each. Round three. Well, a couple of nice shots there from uh, La Cruz. The last thing I think Mamadov needs here is to go to sleep. He needs to stay very alert and do what he did in the first round. Bit of a redding around the right eye there of Mamadov. Oh, nice jab there, and that has knocked Lacruz's gum shield out. And don't they realise there's no such thing as overtime in a boxing ring? Plenty of time to do their fighting. say here that uh, Julio Cesar La Cruz is a very, very awkward customer. And the crowd's thoroughly enjoying this one. Well, Mamadoff under a bit of pressure now. particularly fond of the style that La Cruz is uh, showing here, regardless of how effective it can be. But let's face it, it doesn't matter what I think. It's what these uh, incredible Cuban boxing fans think. They have had so much to cheer about in many a year. Nice work there now from La Cruz, and I don't think that Mamadov is enjoying this attention too much. Don't forget the Cuban number one is 24 years of age. And there's the bell to end a good round, I think, for Julio Cesar La Cruz. We wait for the official scores, of course. Yep, thought there's a bit of damage on the left eye there of Mamadov. 
there are a couple of very clean, hardest punches, I thought, from uh, La Cruz in that round. Don't forget he had his gun shot knocked out as well. Here we go then, this is round four. So Mamadov has got what's left of this round and one more to try and turn this one around. Here we go, he's a point behind coming into this fourth. I gotta say that uh, Julio Cesar La Cruz is the uh, head of the Who Wants Him Club. Who wants to fight this guy? So incredibly awkward. And quick. Probably a degree of power about him as well. This is a very unorthodox, um, orthodox boxer. La Cruz. One thing he has got in abundance is speed of punch. And that's what's catching Mamadov out here. That and the fact that he doesn't know himself when he's going to throw it. So how can your opponent uh, preempt that? And La Cruz looking very relaxed, very much in charge. And of course, if uh, Julio Cesar La Cruz wins this match, it's all over for Azerbaijan. They cannot win. Nice bit of work there from La Cruz. And I kind of feel sorry, really, for Mamadov. There's not a great deal he can do. The lateral movement now being injected by La Cruz. So approaching the last 10 seconds of round four. Only a knockout will do for Mamadov. And that's a good round in the back, surely, for La Cruz. Well, I got him uh, two points in front now, 39-37. But I want to see what the overall score is from our three judges at ringside. Nice bit of work there on the replay from Julio Cesar La Cruz. And there's the scores. Well, four points and uh, six points up. One to play. A knockout required by Tamer Mamadov. Fifth and final round then. Yes, once again, I don't think Julio Cesar La Cruz has got the greatest style on the planet, but he's very effective.
And one gets the impression that uh, Mamadov knows he needs a knockout to win this. But I just wonder whether he carries that kind of firepower. I doubt it. And uh, Julio Cesar La Cruz is a, is a far better puncher than Mamadov, but sometimes, you know, right punch, right time, right place, it's all over. Well, he's loving this, isn't he? Uh, Julio Cesar Cruz took a left hand there from Mamadov. Well, trying to uh, flummox Mamadov there now. Well, that was a good right. Well, Mamadov's going to have to settle for second place as the bell ends the fifth and final round. And that's a cracking win for Julio Cesar La Cruz. Don't forget, he's the number one light heavyweight with the World Series of Boxing. And it is a bit of replay from the final round. Terrific uppercut. And uh, Julio Cesar La Cruz probably caught Mamadov with every punch in the book, but still failed to impress. Style-wise, that is. Uh, not for anything else, I thought he was pretty good. But not my favourite kind of fighter to watch, if you get my drift. Very awkward man to fight. Here we go, there for the official verdict. Juez 1, 50, 42. Juez 2, 49, 43. Juez 3, 49, 45. Big win. El vencedor, por votación unánime, de los domadores de Cuba. So there you are, a huge Cesar win for Julio Cesar La Cruz. That gives an unassailable lead to Cuba over Azerbaijan. Yeah, big scores there, 150-42. I went 49-46 in favour of La Cruz. And a sporting loser in Tamer Mamadov. Well, so far, the Cubans have won bout one, bout three, and bout four. They lost the lightweight when uh, Tojibayev was uh, cut in the final round, but they went to the scorecards, and he was declared the winner, and he's posted their only win so far in the second contest of the, of the evening, and we have one more to go.